Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. Today I'm going to do a quick little video on an electric heater. Because in my office here, uh, when the air conditioner is on in the summertime, it gets really, really cold. So, let's have a look. Okay, so here's our first look. As you can see, it's an infrared electric heater. It comes with a remote control and that kind of gives you a look. It's kind of hard to see this because this is white. We'll get it out of the box and we'll have a better look at it. As soon as we open the box, first thing we see is the remote control. Okay, so you can set this at different temperatures. You got your on off switch. And I'll figure out what all these other ones are here. But it looks like you got your plus and minus for your temperatures. You got your Fahrenheit and Celsius. And I think this is a timer so you can set it up to uh, whatever time you want it to turn on. So if you're coming downstairs, you want to have it warm up before you come down and then turn itself back off. You can do that has an on off switch here and we'll find out what this one is later oh then of course inside you get your guide okay so now this was in French which is not gonna help me but on the other side you've got your English so installation user guide and we'll have a look at that in a little bit and we'll get this out of the box okay so getting it out of the box we're going to have a look at some of the uh, features of this has. So you have a Fahrenheit indicator here, a lock indicator, and a Celsius indicator. And down here we have the digital display. It has an eco mode indicator, uh, timer indicator, has a power button, uh, up button, which I'm not entirely sure what that is. Has your timer power on and off, your Fahrenheit Celsius button, lock button, down button, mode button, all kinds of buttons low and high it has of course a carrying handle which is kind of cool just on the side here so you've got one on both sides so if you want to carry move it around makes it easier and it has air inlet grills on the front here uh, which of course has a filter the it has a temperature sensor so you can once you set it it'll know the temperature in your room of course it has power cord the remote control which i mentioned before and the power switch so again, talking about the uh, remote control, the remote control can turn the heater on and off. It can adjust the temperature. It can change the operating mode. And you can set the timer and uh, turn the timer on or off and change the display on the unit. Okay, it comes with a grounding plug for the uh, plug in the back to plug it into your electrical outlet. And it also has a tip over switch for the unit itself. Okay, so the reason that's nice and that's one of the safety features I mentioned is you want to have the ability should something happen this thing's going to shut down and not cause a fire in your house okay you pay a little extra for some of these things to get those safety features uh, you want to place the heater about uh, three feet or 0 0.9 meters away from any wall okay so you want to you want to have it on firm level surface free of any obstructions uh, like curtains pillows papers cloths all that kind of good stuff because Again, you don't want to have any fire issues or anything of that nature. And of course, you can see it's got the grounded uh, power cord. Okay, grounds here. And it also comes with a um, feature to turn it on and off if it overheats. And just if it, if it gets to a certain temperature, it will shut itself down. It also has a on-off switch here. Okay, so that's on and of course that's off. And what that does is allows you to plug it in, get everything ready to go. And if you want to manually make sure it's turned off, you push that button and you don't have to worry about, gee, is, is anything going to happen? It's all taken care of for you. Another thing to keep in mind is make sure that the uh, power level switch is in the off position when you first plug it in. And that you connect the power cord to a 120 volt AC or 60 hertz outlet. Okay, so that's the standard in most households today so you just want to make sure about that and after it's plugged in and you turn it on you will get an audible beep okay and, and the display in the front will then start working and then you're free to start doing your adjustments setting your temperature do the remote um, set your temp temperature what you want it to be and continue from there so the thing with the timer features it basically allows you to set a time in hours for the heater to run and then turn itself off. Okay, so you want to make sure the power switch on the back of the unit is on the up on position. Press the power button to turn on the heater. 
Press the timer button on the control panel. The timer indicator light will illuminate. Okay. And then follow your instructions in your manual and for how you set it. And then you can use the remote control to do that as well. And then you can get everything all set up. Now this unit also has a lock feature. It'll prevent the accidental use of the heater. So if you've got a young child or someplace or an animal that you know, sometimes it can happen, they could maybe turn it on or whatever, you can lock it out so that that can't happen. Okay, so they can't actually turn it on and cause it to overheat or have any other issues. So that's a good feature. Another thing you're going to pay for in the price. And in my opinion, very well worth it. So you're probably wondering why I'm showing the back of the heater. Well, it's because this has a air filter. And they say you should clean it about every three months of use or when the filter appears to be dirty. Okay, so turn off the heater, unplug it, let it cool down, remove the two screws from the back of the heater. Okay, so you got two screws in here. Oh, I'm sorry, you have two screws here. Okay, and then you can remove the air intake grill, swing the grill to the left to disengage the grill from the slots on the heater, remove the filter, wash it with just clean water, and allow the filter to dry before reinstalling it. Okay, so put the filter back in and just realign the notches on the grill and put the screws back in. Now, I don't really want to just take that all apart right now uh, since it's new. So I will show you the diagram in the manual just to give you an idea. So right here, okay, so that's your unit. This is where the two screws are. These are your, this is your back grill and the filter on the inside. So that way you know what you have to do, take it apart. Basically just like I just said, take these two screws out, it'll pull out and do your thing, wash it and put it back together after it's completely dry. So the ideal um, situation for using this is medium sized bedrooms. Okay. Yeah. You know, or of course like an office space like mine. Um, this thing has three power settings. Okay. So you can switch between low, which is a thousand Watts high, which is 1500 Watts or energy saving mode, which is 500 Watts. Okay. The dimensions starting from length, width and height are seven and one eighth by 12 and 11 sixteenths by 12 and three eighths or 19 by 32.2 by 31.5 centimeters. Okay, of course, comes with a remote control. Requires two AAA batteries, which are not included, so you're gonna make sure you have that with you. Okay, has a 12 hour timer program, and when you want the heat to turn on and off, you can set that. Okay, it'll always display your temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit, whatever, whatever one you want. Has overheat protection, so it'll automatically shut the unit off if it overheats has a safety tip over protection, which will also shut the unit off if it tips over. Has an adjustable thermostat to select and maintain a desired temperature. So if you wanted 72 or whatever you wanted at, and it plugs into a standard household outlet. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of this. I hope you like it. I would highly recommend this product to all kinds of safety features. Uh, I think it's gonna work out well for me. Whether it does for you or not, is for you to decide. All right, so if you like that video, hit that like. If you don't, hit the dislike. Leave me a comment, let me know either way. Uh, if you've got any questions, post them to me and I'll see if I can answer them for you. Just a nice little tech electrical product that I thought somebody might be interested in. If you're sitting in a basement like I am and you're cold because of the air conditioning and stuff going around, it's just a helpful uh, thing. I've actually been using it now for um, probably about a week. It's phenomenal. You can set the temperature and once you get the temperature you like, it'll stay like that for a long time. And then of course, even if you turn it off, it'll stay that way for a while. So hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.